We're back with some more F1 2020 My Team Season 2. Welcome back to the channel, of course. If you're enjoying this content, please leave a like, subscribe using the red button down below, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when the next video goes out, of course. Now, let's see what we can do before we head on into the Russian Grand Prix. Of course, we are towards the latter half of the season, coming down to the final Grand Prix as we hit Russia and Japan in this episode. Um, we are going to hit our R&D tree here just to see if we can get any more upgrades. Perhaps a major upgrade just to hit this quickly. We will get the DRS, uh, maximum slot gap. Uh, we will do that standard as always. And then of course, I think I'm going to start saving up on resource points starting now so that I have enough to adjust to the regulation changes if there are any. If not, we can always trigger a bunch of upgrades before the end of the season. Here we go into the Russia Grand Prix at the Sochi Autodrome and I will hit the practice programs and then we'll see afterwards and get ready for qualifying. Sit rep, we've got a leak in the hydraulic system, so it's going to be a few minutes before we can get you out on track. Bummer that our braking system is faulty at the moment, but we did have a successful practice uh, session. Everything was purple except for qualifying pace program, which I believe is always like green if you're like one tenth faster. So I was like, you know what, uh, practice one was over anyway, so I simulated the rest of practice and I said whatever. So we are straight on into a qualifying session, but it looks like we will be delayed by seven minutes, which means that all the other cars will get there. Um, laps in so we will wait and then head on out later when the fix is done pretty much our first lap of Q1 is looking okay we are P15 gotta do better than that gotta do better than that I tried to head out on new softs towards the end of Q1 but then I ran out of time just before the start finish uh, straight so we set up P16 we got extremely lucky to be heading on into Q2 uh, De Vries, Magnussen, Giovinazzi, Albon, Latifi and Alcon all failed to qualify for Q2 so we got lucky um, yeah, we're heading on into Q2 with Jack Aiken at pole so let's see if we can follow in his suit our first lap of Q2 is looking all right. It's 132.7, which is us at P5. I think that should be good enough to see us into Q3. We shall see, but we might go one more run here just for good measure. Oh, only one tenth faster despite attacking the corners really strongly. I think we should be good enough to see ourselves into Q3. Let's see. All right, we are through to Q3 placing p6 and q2 jack aiken and p4 hamilton versus Stappen and bottas rounding out the top three positions so it seems like 131.5 is the time to beat pierre gasly kvyat ricardo and perez are the remaining uh and norris are the remaining uh, drivers heading on into q3 uh grosjean stroll russell vettel leclerc and Sainz knocked out so let's see what we can do in q3 Ooh, we are P2 after that stunning Q3 lap. Uh, let's see if we can go one more time and see if we can attack the corners a little harder so that we can make up some lost time. Alright, our second lap is a lot faster. There we go. 7 tenths faster, marking a 131-ish time. So let's return to the garage, wait out the rest of qualifying 3, and I think we should be sitting on pole for the race. Marvelous result out of qualifying we out qualify bottas perez jack hamilton first step and ricardo gasly kviet and norris to be on pole position we were three tenths faster than bottas so that is a stunning lap indeed that our our second uh, qualifying three lap was stunning indeed. Um, Jack is approximately 1.3 seconds behind us, so he is considerably slow. Now, is that a car issue or is it him just struggling with the track? I don't know, but let's hope that he can push through in the race and possibly get a double podium. Let's see if that is possible. 
Welcome along then to Sochi and the Russian Grand Prix, one of eight cities in the world to play host to both the Olympics and a Formula One race. It's a Grand Prix that's proven difficult to crack for anyone beyond the first two rows of the grid in recent years, so let's see if that can change today. It's time to go racing then in the Sochi Autodrome, where the long run down to the heavy braking zone at turn two is one of two DRS zones around this 3.6 mile circuit. The other, of course, down into turn 13. 18 corners make up a lap here today with an average speed somewhere in the region of 130 miles an hour. Now, Anthony Davidson, I wonder, might we be in for some early pit stops today for the midfield teams, or trying to put some pressure on or disrupting things for the leaders up front? If you're in the middle of the pack, you know, you've got your own race to run, I don't think they're going to be thinking about causing trouble up front. However, closer to the head of the pack, don't be surprised to see some split strategies. If you're running second and third, for example, bringing one car in for an undercut while leaving the other one out there longer can put a lot of pressure on the leader and maybe force them into an error. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Falcon lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Aitken, Lewis Hamilton, and Verstappen, Ricardo, Gasly, Kvyat, and Lando Norris, Sainz, Leclerc, Sebastian Vettel, and Stroll, Grosjean, Ocon, Nicholas Latifi, and Alexander Albon. Magnussen, De Vries, Russell, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Here we go, getting ready for the race, of course, getting our race strategy in order, because of course that is what wins us races, as we've seen in previous episodes. Um, hmm. Seems like soft to mediums are the best strategy so far. We could pit on lap 11 to increase our projected race time by four hundredths. So considering uh, what happens on the grid, I think we will change that accordingly. Since we are starting on pole, we shouldn't be all too bad. We should be zooming ahead. So I don't think wing damage is all too likely. Uh, we're dropping our fuel load to one lap below target. So approximately 20 Mm, yeah, 52 kilograms seems about all right. Car setup's good. Car's ready. Let's head on in and see how well we do in Sochi. Here we go. Rich fuel mixture ready and five red lights. And off we go. Overtake deployed. And rich fuel mixture trying to make our way away from the pact before we get pummeled and beat. Okay, here comes Bottas around the inside. But we can outbreak him here. Oh, I got hit. I got hit. Bottas hit me. Bottas hit me. Bottas. Okay, we are so far so good. Alright, we are doing alright. Could do better. Ah, we took a exceeding track limits there. That's fine. We can adjust accordingly later. Alright, Rich and Overtake on this long straight here. We are doing okay against Bottas. We should keep it up. Try to extend the lead. Ah, I went a little wide there. I don't know why. All right, maintaining pole position well against Bottas. We're now 1.2 seconds ahead. So I want to extend that gap as much as possible in the next couple of laps so that when DRS is enabled, we're outside the DRS zone. So push, push, push. All right, our second lap is a lot better. Fastest lap recorded again, 136.022. We are going to continue pushing. We're nearly two seconds ahead of Bottas, so we got to keep pushing, though. Oh, 
Uh oh, Bottas is now within one second range, so that means DRS is possible. I think he did get DRS right now. Goodness me. Oh, got a much better exit out of there, and Bottas is now behind me. So that's good. Gap to Bottas is now approximately four tenths. Oh, okay. Oof. Good. Okay, we're still pushing very strong out in front. Bottas is still catching from behind. We gotta save our fuel though, that's the biggest issue. Okay, we can still push. We can still push strong against Bottas. I have faith in our car. Oof. Uh oh. God dang it. Our durability is coming to bite us at the ankles. Dang it. Okay, Bottas is right on my tail and this engine problem is not what we want right now. Okay, phew. Gotta keep pushing, gotta keep pushing, man. Our lap times aren't getting any better. And Bottas is still within reach of DRS, so it's not looking good for us. Alright, can we push here? Well defended there, pinched Bottas to make him slow down a bit. Alright, entering lap 8, we are still ahead of Bottas, we still gotta push hard though. Bottas is right on our tail. It's been a difficult Grand Prix, but we are still maintaining well against Bottas. Uh oh, it's not looking good, lap 9 and Bottas is steaming. Aiming right on our tail. Oh, Alexander Albon's out of the race. Okay. Let's save some fuel here. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Did well to manage that. So, oh, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did I bump there? What was that? Goodness me. Part of a wing flying across my screen there. Okay, I, I took this turn. Why did my car jump? Is there... Like... Where? 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 <laughs> where did I get that lift? Why does it jump? What the heck? This is the most bizarre lift I've ever seen. Look at that! Oh, we got yellow flags. Oh, it's Albon out of the Grand Prix. All right, we made up some good fuel. All right, we push now. Whoa, how are they five seconds behind us now? I don't know. I think it's because I slammed into Bottas because I don't know what happened. My car just jumped into the air and then lost control for a moment. And then I slammed into Bottas and I think he lost his wing. Sorry about that, but that was out of my control as my computer just took over control of the car. So, I don't know what else I could have done. We firm it and we move. Alright, we're boxing four medium compound tires. Here we go. Boxing four mediums. I think a bunch of people are going to continue, like Jack is going to continue, Ricardo is going to continue, Perez boxes this lap. Uh, we should be able to overtake everyone when they do their pit stop next lap, so we, sh we are in good shape. Lap 11 pit stop is a good idea, I think. Jeff got this one right. Let's hope so. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, 2.7. Jeez. 
they get slower and slower. We need to feed these guys some energy drinks or something. Alright, we're looking good. Lean fuel mixture. Alright, here we go. Now we push on new sets of mediums. We are in P8, just behind a bunch of others. We still need to pit, by the way. They're all on softs, I think, ahead of us. So we are in good shape. Jack comes out approximately 4.3 seconds behind us. So we are still uh, in a healthy lead. All right, more people in the pits now. Someone pitted for hard compound tires. Why? Uh, Russell is ahead on softs. So let's see if he's going to pit anyway. He can't go much longer on softs. All right, Russell pits as expected. Whew, we're doing well. We are back in the lead, so this is for the Grand Prix win. We are four seconds out of Jack Aiken, so let's see if we can maintain that. Our fuel is slightly low right now, 4.6 laps in the deficit. So we are gonna try and save that this lap and then maybe push for some fastest laps later. I mean, I don't think it is worth it right now because we already hold the fastest lap title. Um, but we'll see. If we lose that title, then we will adjust accordingly. So let's try to keep pushing. Oh, one tenth away from a fastest lap record, but that's good. okay. That's okay because we're still managing our fuel. We're four tenths of a lap in the deficit. Oh, Giovinazzi is out of the race. Ooh, a lot of DNFs coming up. Durability is catching up to a lot of people. A few moments later. Ooh, lap 25 now. Still maintaining that five second gap to Jack. Uh, things are looking very good, very comfortable. Uh, it's been a very quiet race, so let's just finish this and then head on to the next one, right? All right, final lap. I'm getting complacent. The Delta II Jack is dropping down from four seconds, so I got to push this lap, trying to finish strong. I mean, that Delta should keep around 3.5, I'm assuming, but I got a little complacent, and I think Jack is pushing, trying to do a final spurt towards the end, so he's trying to push on me. Um, we'll try to maintain that best we can. All right, let's see. Good, let's keep pushing, keep pushing. Three second delta now for Jack. All right, good racing so far. Trying to push here because we know we have the straight line speed. 3.3 seconds. And he's still gaining. Alright, we've done it, we've done it. Final two corners of the Grand Prix. Checkered flag in sight. Here we go. Finish the Grand Prix. P1. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. Another superb Russian Grand Prix comes to an end and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, they certainly stood out as a drive with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race.
P1 and P2 for Sue Motorsport. What a weekend it was in Russia. What a result. Um, yeah, that was an easy race, simple race, and we maintained everything well ever since the collision with Bottas, which I had no control over, I'll be honest. Uh, the controller just gave up, but it is what it is. We maintained P1. Nice. So he said Alfa Romeo, but both Alfa Romeos did not finish the race. I don't know what they're talking about. Anyway, here are the results. Jack Aiken stole our fastest lap in the final lap, I think, but that is quite impressive. But anyway, let's take a look. We get pole position and we get P1 finish. Jack Aiken gets P2 and Hamilton rounds out the podium in P3. Perez Ricardo, Verstappen, Gasly, Kvyat, Norris, and Bottas round out the top 10 points positions. So we did outdo the Mercedes in this one. We, I think we got maximum points from the weekend. So that is a real stunning result. Vettel, Stroll, Leclerc, Ocon, Russell, Sainz, Magnussen, Latifi, and Grosjean, and De Vries round out the rest of the grid with the boat, with the two Alfa Romeo cars not finishing the race. So let's take a look at the standings because it gets interesting now we push very close to ricardo we are six points behind daniel ricardo and bottas is within reach with 14 points gap between us jack is bumping up as well in p8 now with 88 points four points ahead of leclerc and nine points behind george russell so that is good to see uh he is 128 points away from valtteri bottas but i think he is still able to get possibly a P5, four, P6. Yeah, P6 seems very likely for Jack Aiken. If he continues to get P2 or P1, uh, we'll see how that works out. Constructor standings wise, we are, what, 117 points away from Mercedes. So I don't think P1 is possible. We will see. Um, but Red Bull is within our reach by what 98 points so we could push for red bull racing but i don't know if that is possible at all we'll see i think p3 is something we should be satisfied with all right so we're back in hq we need to renew our sponsorships as zen Zer and seren serene both expire so let's manage our sponsors and take a look and see what has the best goal bonus as well as Weekly income. Let's do weekly income actually. Zanzer. Achieve at least one podium finish within the team. Yes, we will resign with Zanzer then. Yeah, let's try Belitza. Belitza. It uh, achieve a pole position during qualifying and win the race. So I think that is possible for the remainder of the season. We'll see. Uh, this will extend to the next season, I believe, but we will see. Um, I think it's possible. So let's t put those uh, sponsors on our livery. Now we have 1,538 resource points in the bag. So I think I'll do this one, the diffuser, for 875 resource points, standard development. Okay, so we have an invitational event to attend. So we will attend that. And then I don't know if I'll show you guys anything. I think I'll just show you guys the final um, result. And then we'll head on to the next Japanese Grand Prix. There we go, time trial passed or time attack. The invitational event is a good one and we take the prize and we go home. I think it was $150,000 and a thousand acclaim, I think. So we take that home with us um, before the Japanese Grand Prix. Nice. Now we are heading on into Japan. I'm gonna do the practice programs and then I'll see you guys for qualifying afterwards. All right, here we go, getting ready for a qualification at the Japanese Grand Prix. Uh, we've had a good set of practice programs completed. I missed out on qualifying pace because I was out, I was like in the red by one tenth of a second. So I couldn't really catch up on that. Uh, otherwise, I other updates I have is that our new rival is Lewis Hamilton. I want to see if I can compete against him because it looks like Lewis Hamilton is not as good as Bottas anymore, which is quite interesting. It's season two and Lewis Hamilton, the multiple world champion, is falling behind. So I'm going to take a risk here and try to fight Lewis Hamilton in a rivalry. We'll see how well we do considering we did extremely well against Bottas. 
So let's head on into qualifying as always. Whew, here we go. Let's see if we can get another pole position. It's a decent lap that sits us at P9. Uh, I think we could go for one last lap here. Our one run is good enough. I bailed on the second run. Jack Aiken, that's P2, but we are sitting at P10. Um, Latifi, Grosjean, Albon, Giovinazzi, De Vries, and Magnussen failed to qualify for Q2, but we are still in. So let's see if we can do a little better than we did in this run. 127.5 is the time to beat. There we go. That's the one. P2. Beautiful. There we go. P2 after our stunning first lap of qualifying 2. I think my cam died so I couldn't really record what was happening uh, to my face but my reaction was good. I think you guys heard it. Uh, Russell, Perez, Alcon, Gasly, Norris and Aiken sadly get knocked out from Q2. We're heading on into Q3. Let's see if we can maintain this good performance against the other 10 drivers here. 9 drivers here. Let's see if we can get another pole. Our first lap of Q3 is P4 at the moment, 0 0.065 slower than signs. Let's see if we can improve on this time. Our second lap is approximately one tenth better. Let's see. We bump up to P2. That looks good. That looks very good. Let's go back into the garage and let us take a look if we do get a front row. Bummer, we get P3, which means we'll start off the second row of the grid. So let's head on into the Grand Prix itself and see if we can overtake Vettel and Hamilton in the first before the first turn and then try to build on that. We come to you live today from the Mia Prefecture in the south of Japan's Honshu Island for a race that has seen many title deciders over the years. Some simple some controversial, but all contributing to a legacy that makes the Japanese Grand Prix an indispensable stop in any Formula One season. We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at the unique figure of eight Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here with average speeds approaching 136 miles per hour. DRS will be available, of course, into the potential passing opportunity at turn one, although the best place for overtaking will be through 130R and into the final chicane. Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Let's talk briefly about Lando Norris. They've had to change their gearbox. It's never a good start to a Grand Prix when right off the bat, you have to contend with a grid penalty. Well, at the end of the day, it's always better to take some pain now than parking it up halfway through the Grand Prix. Let's just hope they can put that new gearbox to good use and get the results they're looking for. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Falcon, Sainz, Max Verstappen and Stroll, Leclerc, Gasly, Ricardo. They've taken a grid penalty and Sergio Perez, Russell, Magnussen, Valtteri Bottas, Anne Norris, De Vries, Jovanadze, Alexander Albon, and Daniel Kvyat, Grosjean, Aitken, Latifi, and Esteban Ocon rounds off the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? This is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix. Let's give them a race worth watching. Indeed, we are running a Honda power unit, so it is their home Grand Prix as Honda is a Japanese manufacturing company. Let's take a look at our possibilities here. Um, we could go short, um, soft to hard, pitting in on lap 8 or 9. Uh, I'd say let's go for the lap 9 pit. We will drop our fuel load as always to approximately one lap below target to which I think we can manage well and our car setup should be perfect. Uh, yeah, I think that is what we ran during qualification. So we have a good race strategy, a decent car and a decent starting position. So let's see if we can push up the grid and finish higher than P3. Getting ready for the Japanese Grand Prix. Five red lights and off we go. 
overtake deployed as soon as we leave. We got a great start compared to Hamilton who struggled and has given us the right of way here. Alright, we make we jump up to P1 at turn one. Oh, got a little contact there with Hamilton. Vettel wants a piece of me too, but we're still pushing. Alright, splendid lap one. Here we go, still maintaining P1. Vettel is right behind us. Hamilton pits after his collision with us, I'm assuming. Oh boy, Vettel, please. Vettel has wing damage, 100%. He smashed into me. Time to push on this long straight. ERS, DRS hopefully will be enabled after this lap. But it doesn't matter to us actually. There we go. I'm sure this is another fastest lap. Indeed it is. 133.9. Lance Stroll took it from us with a 132.7. DRS is enabled. Ooh, Sebastian Vettel is out of the race. Okay. Virtual safety car. Alright, VSC ended. Saved up on some fuel. Boom! Alright, Signs is a second behind us after our blunder with the VSC, I think. <clears throat> so, let's keep pushing so that Signs cannot catch up with us. Oh no, Science is definitely going to take over, it's going to overtake us at some point if that continues. Ooh, fastest lap, oh Science and Verstappen take it, ah, they keep stealing my fastest laps. Ah, Science is right on my tail. Oof. Verstappen capitalized on our small tussle with signs. He's right behind me now. We do have the straight line speed to outpace the two of them. Ooh, Verstappen is right next to us. Alright, we squeezed him, we squeezed him. Ooh, Verstappen keeps pushing us, man. He's trying to push us to the limit. Let's see if we can keep this up. Whoa! Whoa! We're stepping. Hold it there, buddy. Safety car, safety oh! Car. Safety car! What? Safety car? Uh, okay. So we are gonna pit a little early. We're gonna pit into hard tires now and wait for the safety car 
to end, I guess. Actually, should we go one more lap, perhaps? Nah, we should pit probably. I'm sure a bunch of these guys are gonna pit too. Yeah, let's pit. Let's pit during the start of the safety car. Ooh, no one else is p Oh no, everyone is pitting. I was just early to the pit lane. We're gonna pit onto hard compound tires, so let's see what damage we can do on hard compound tires. Everyone's pitting, by the looks of it. Alright, good. I don't know why the safety car got triggered. Oh god. Oh, I thought I had to press accelerate, but we're good. It's on automatic. Alright. Let's push, push, push. Alright, Norris and Aiken maintain on the medium compound tires. So Aiken and Norris are going to be the potential leaders right now, but we still maintain P1 right now. Because they still need a pit, and we're going to go to the end until hards, on these hards. Alright, let's get the... Uh, wheel temperature sheet up just to make sure that our tire temps are in good shape all right safety car is coming in so all right here we go all right we made up all our fuel um yeah, safety car since the Monaco and Azerbaijan Grand Prix. It's the first one since then. Don't know what triggered it, but here we go. Uh, 16 laps left of the Japanese Grand Prix. Alright, let's go. Aiken and Norris still need to pit. So, we are in the most ideal situation right now. Because we are leading the pack pretty much. All the other cars have pitted for hard compound tires, so... We are pretty much pole position right now. Alright. Fuel's looking splendid because we are above target. So let's see. There we go. They're still going on medium tires. We got a fastest lap. Holy crap, how? I don't know, but we did get it. Ooh, Lando Norris got the fastest lap all of a sudden. Okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. We can get DRS off Aiken and Norris, so... We're in good shape. Okay, Norris and Jack are pitting, but we got DRS off them. Nice. Launching us forward now. Let's go. Got the slingshot off Jack. Thank you. Question is, why didn't Norris, or I mean, why didn't Jack pit with us like the lap after? He could have utilized the slow pace of the safety car and gotten a uh, service done quick. He would not be falling as far behind as he would now, I believe. Here we go, is this another fastest lap attempt here? Can we get the fastest lap? Yes, we do! 131.0, let's go! All right, sitting on a pretty comfortable lead here. 3.5 seconds ahead of Lon Stroll, nine laps to go. I mean, this seems to be in the bag, so let's keep fighting and uh, wait until the fat lady sings. Oh, Jack Aiken getting the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, stealing it off of us. George Russell now stealing from Jack Aiken. Well, wow. oh, Lewis Hamilton now steals from us. Alright, two purple sectors. Maybe this time we can steal from everyone. Yes! 129.9 on used hard 
Compound tires. Interesting. Alright, penultimate lap and we're still holding the fastest lap and the gap has now shrunk to about 2.6. Final lap. Still maintaining our pole position here. Full race update. You are in first position, front of the pack. Stroll is behind you. Our gap behind is 3.0 seconds. They're on old hards. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. All right, decent updates. The Delta's down to two seconds, oops. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. I think we got this in the bag though. It should be done and dusted. Should be in good shape to finish the race once again in P1. Making up for some lost time here on the final straight. I think we should be in the clear to win this Grand Prix as we hit the final chicane. Here we go. There we are, checkered flag to see us once again crown champions. Fantastic drive, just fantastic. You deserve that race win. That's it then for another fantastic Grand Prix here in Japan. A brilliant victory that has thoroughly earned the applause from the sellout crowd here today. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. What a result in Japan. Another podium, making it a double podium this episode. So please be sure to like the video, subscribe, use the red button down below, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when the next video goes live. So we do end up in P1 with the fastest lap and also the top spot. Lance Stroll and Leclerc round out the top three positions on the podium. Now, next up is Sainz, Verstappen, Perez, Gasly, Bottas, Russell, and Ocon who get points as well. So that is the top 10. Kvyat, Ricardo, Giovinazzi, Norris, Aiken, Hamilton, Albon, De Vries, Magnussen, Latifi, Grosjean, and Vettel round out the rest of the grid. Sebastian Vettel doesn't finish the race and gets it does not finish and I think it's because of his DNF that we got a safety car which did help us save a lot of fuel and prepare us for the push towards the end. Now if you guys take a look at our standings we overtake Bottas and Ricardo to sit on pole position on the driver's standings. We are eight points in the lead compared to Bottas which is fantastic news. This was what I was trying to uh, strive for in this episode and thankfully we got it and that is really stunning for us to see and hopefully we can keep it up until the next Grand Prix and the following until the end of the season pretty much because we have two episodes left and uh, yeah it's all down to four Grand Prix that are remaining uh, and I think we can maintain it. Uh, Jack falls down the grid a little as he drops down to 10th position with 88 points. Leclerc gets 99, so he is 11 points behind. Russell and Leclerc are tied on 99 points, so let's hope that Jack can get a podium next round. Uh, maybe even for the last four Grand Prix. Constructor standing wise, we maintain our position in P3. We extend the gap between Racing Point and ourselves, but we do bridge the gap a little between Racing Point, uh, Red Bull and us. So we are 82 points behind Red Bull. So I wonder if, yeah, I think it is possible to overtake Red Bull and perhaps even Mercedes if we get maximum points in the next four Grand Prix. So I'm gonna really try hard and see if that is possible. We could possibly get double P1s in drivers and constructors. The good finish at Japan sees us get 5 out of 5 points in the rivalry against Lewis Hamilton which brings us up in the lead 6 to 4. So let's see if we can build on this lead. Team acclaim wise we inch closer to uh, level 15. Uh, Aiken just moved up to 11 just before the race so he's there and team acclaim is up to 17. Inching closer towards 18. 
our cash balance is looking good and uh, we didn't get pull position in qualifying but that is fine we get another 45k after deductions and that gives us a total 16.1 million dollars in the bank so what a grand prix it was what an episode it was so we started off in russia at the sochi autodrome and we had a stunning race there finding ourselves in pole position after the qualifying session in uh, in uh, russia so that was an easy glide ahead and we just stormed ahead to uh, maintain a good solid five second gap was it i think for three to five second gap to p2 uh, we drove well and we had a pretty easy time there and uh, it was all to fight for for us in the next Grand Prix which is this one at the Japanese circuit uh, Japanese Grand Prix and yeah this one was a little hard uh, that turn right there I hit Bottas I, or Hamilton I don't know and then I also hit Vettel there again so that was a bit of a bummer I took the curve a little too wide and then they came in so that contact caused their front wing to break off uh, signs also came close to overtaking us but then we had a little tussle and then he backed out and then the safety car came out and the safety car was a lifesaver I don't know where the incident appears where the safety car appears uh, I'm trying to take a look here if the highlights show. Max Verstappen also was a very dangerous... Look at that. That turn right there, three people bumped into me and lost their wing. So that is a dangerous turn for the AI. Um, here we go. There's a safety car. Nearly bumped into Jack Aiken. And I think we took a nibble off of our front wing, which wasn't too major of a damage uh, that cost us time so thankfully we were able to maintain it poor jack who didn't come in on time to fit the hard compound tires to see out the rest of the race but whatever we get p1 which is all that matters so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode we got four more grand prix coming up which are all going to be exciting and it is going to wind down season two of f1 2020 my team so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell so you're notified when the next video goes live on my channel follow me on the socials that you see on screen as well so that you are connected with me throughout the day and uh, i also up uh, post updates there a lot of football stuff but also f1 stuff like it's where i will be active and it'll be fun to hang out with y'all so thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and until the next episode please take care of yourselves and i'll see you then